aging. Some of us gain wisdom and maturity, and some of us feel like we're still 12 years old. Some people give in to their physical aches and pains. I like to believe I'm still in my prime. Hey everybody, welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. Today, I've been tagged to do what they call an old man test. I was tagged by a friend overseas from a great channel, Kat from Steps by Katja. Uh, I'll put a link to her channel down below. Please check it out, uh, especially if you want to uh, become less ignorant as an American and learn a little bit about Europe. <laughs> but anyway, today's challenge is to do what they call an old man test, and I will show you as we go along exactly what that means. And after that, I've got a riveting cat hole video to show you. So here goes the old man test. What I have to do is put my shoes and socks on while standing on one leg at a time. Here we go. Still got it. Leg number two. So considering I understood the rules right, I'm not an old man yet. Still in my prime? I think. So I appreciate Katya for uh, nominating me to do this. I had some weeble wobble times there, but I think I, I think I accomplished the goal. So pretty soon here, take this out into the uh, woods over here. And I'll show you how to dig a proper cat hole with this near zero titanium shovel. And before we do that, I have five channels to tag. All right, so I'm supposed to tag five channels. Uh, I believe it's hashtag old man challenge. I'll be littering this entire video with whatever correct hashtag we're using for this. But I have five uh, channels to tag. Uh, number one being my uh, good old brother and friend, Rob Pelton. Number two, Let's go for Andy from Metro on the Move. Number three, uh, Todd and Elise from In Our Element. Number four, huh. Let's go for uh, Miyagi from Miyagi on the Trail. Miyagi and Trips on the Trail. I'd like to see you both do it. And number five, let's go for uh, Bryce Newbold, uh, the fellow sarcastic cat and uh, hopeful future friend of mine. All right, so let's uh, head out into the woods, and I'm going to see how this little shovel works to dig a proper uh, cat hole. Let's talk a little reality, shall we? You're in the woods. You're clinching. You got to go. You got to dig a proper cat hole, and leave no trace principles require that you dig it six inches deep. So I'm going to use this titanium shovel today and see what it takes to dig a proper cat hole. Before I get to digging, I want you to think to yourself, you're using one of those tiny little titanium trowels, you really gotta go, and you gotta dig a six inch hole in the woods. So let's see what we'll do with a little beefier version.
Now at this point in time, picture the turtle popping out. All right, so I'll give you a closer look at this, but I saw, I showed you in real time, just what it took to use this shovel to dig what I would consider a pretty proper cat hole. Now hopefully you can see this, but this branch is probably, this little stick is probably about seven or eight inches long. And as you can see, well, it broke in half, but that cat hole is plenty deep uh, as far as the six inches are concerned. Guys, you know what six inches looks like. So anyway, you could easily squat over that. It took me all of what, 20 or 30 seconds. And again, try to picture doing that with a little trowel. Six inches deep with roots is not an easy task sometimes. So just for demonstration's sake, you take a look at this shovel and I've discovered a new reason to use it. As I squat here comfortably, I have a leaning pole which is actually quite nice to use. So consider I'm sitting here and I've just done my business. My hole is done. Ugh! Let's bury it. And that, folks, is the proper way to take a poop in the woods. Thanks for joining us at Backpacking with Buckley. Be yourself. Be happy, everyone. We'll catch you on the next adventure.